Biscuits Care with the bag holder and we are whipping up a fantastic meal called Chicken Divan. It's super duper good to do with the kids that you can do in the bag holder with no mess and it's healthy. All right, we've got our lemon juice and we are going to squeeze. You're gonna use about a tablespoon. Now you can use fresh or you can use the fast stuff that's already pre-squeezed for you. You don't have to worry about the seeds. I'm gonna do this because I don't have the fast stuff. If I did, I would be using that. Um, so you just squeeze in. You're gonna use about a tablespoon of lemon juice. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Remember my little tip about, and everybody's little tip, pop it in the microwave, get it warm. That way you get all the juice out of the lemon. Perfect. And we are going to do um, three chicken breasts. Now, you know my other little tip that I love to tell you is, oh, I should move this, um, is you can cut the chicken. I just find it wasteful and really don't need to use a cutting board for that. And this is something fun that kids can do. Use your scissors, safe, not pointy ones for the kids, but let them just cut the chicken into pieces, bite-sized pieces. It's really easy. I'm not making any mess. It's going right into the bag that I'm going to mix it in. So again, I'm minimizing steps. I'm doing things faster. This is a little gristle. We're just going to dump that right in the trash. Now I'm doing three whole chicken breasts. I've already sauteed these. Yes, they are already cooked. I sauteed them in a little white wine. I use that for everything. I don't drink, but I certainly cook with it. Uh, a little white wine, a little salt and pepper, and of course a little garlic. Those things uh, taste fantastic. So I'm going to cook, uh, put, cut this all up. If you want to chop it, chop it away. But I am not going to do that. And uh, I'm going to show you, I, in case you haven't seen it yet, you see my little, where my lemon is sitting right now? That is my handy dandy new tip that I'm so in love with, I can't even believe I thought about it. Uh, it's just a vinyl placemat. And I was using cutting boards and I was having to wash them and ugh, just took forever to get all those little crevices clean. So I pulled out a vinyl placemat, I bought it, I don't know, the dollar store, big store somewhere. And um, for one, I love the design, but I just started cutting and realized that I am, there's no way that I could cut my counters by using these. I mean, unless I had a chainsaw, there is no way that I would cut through here and scratch my counters. And if you had a chainsaw, then you wouldn't have a table anyway, so it doesn't matter. All right, just my tip for the day. All right, we've got our three chicken breasts. I'm going to move this out of the way. We've got our lemon juice. Now let's do our mayonnaise. We're gonna use a half a cup of mayonnaise. Again, I put my little uh, measuring cup right on the bag holder. That's the beautiful design of it. I'm gonna plop that in. I know, doesn't this look good? Dukes, we love you. I only recommend Dukes, it's the best. It's good for baking to batches of chicken. Right, we've got about a half a cup. Uh, pour that right in there. And I don't think I need the measuring cup anymore, so I'm gonna set it to the side. I'm gonna put this right here because this is gonna be so easy to clean up. Now I've got my broccoli, yes, it's pre-cut. You can use frozen if you want to cook it faster. I'm using fresh because it was on sale. And don't you love when you don't have to think about measuring? It takes about two cups, that's about half this bag. So I'm just gonna pour half the bag. I don't even have to measure it, yay. Excellent. Now I'm going to do a cup of cheddar cheese. This is shredder, shredder. <laughs> it's shredded cheddar. That's a new word, shredded cheddar, shredder. Um, you can do Swiss shredded cheese or you can do um, cheddar shredded cheese. And it's about a cup too. Actually, I do need this. This is a, almost two cups, so again, I'm gonna do about half a bag. No, I'm so indecisive, it's so late. <laughs> I've been going in circles all day. All right, so we're doing really good. If nothing else, you're laughing and finding it quite amusing that I'm completely discombobulated. That's another word too, discombobulated. Didn't know that we were gonna be taking words of the dictionary and giving new meaning to them. Uh, we're going to add a cream of chicken soup. Does it really matter um, what flavor you use as long as it's creamy? Cream of chicken, cream of mushroom, cream of celery, and any other type of cream that they have out there. We're gonna do two of these. Gonna make it nice and juicy. No liquid in this. Here we go. Come on, baby. Don't you love the sound when the can it just comes out, it's like, just like that, doesn't that, isn't that fun? All right, Woo. good to the last drop, literally. All right, what am I, oh, I'm missing the curry. Yes, we cannot leave without, live without that. You can do regular curry, I'm doing a little red curry because we're gonna just pick it up a little bit. So I'm doing a half a teaspoon, yeah, not any more than that. Otherwise, my face will be in a fire hydrant really quick. All right, 
I think I have everything. Little sidekick, do I have everything? Fabulous, wonderful. So, let's take the bag out of the bag holder. Ooh, baby, baby. And you know what, we may need to add a little more cheese because you know I'm kind of cheesy family. But let's see how it looks first. Seal your bag, take out the air when you're doing it. In a minute, you're gonna hear a bunch of snorting. That's not me, that's Pug. She's managed to get behind the camera. So in the event that you hear something, no one is sleeping behind the camera. It's our little Puglet. Um, so you see how easy I'm mixing this up? The only dishes I have are the ones that I've used to measure the stuff here. I have no bowls, nothing else. I'm gonna rinse this off really quick with a wipey and I am good to go. My space is clean. I'm gonna wait till my husband comes home and he can put all the other stuff up. All right, let's begin this. I'm going to use a foil pan, and I'll tell you why I'm using a foil pan. I know you're dying to hear. Not because I don't want to clean a dish, but I'm on TV tomorrow doing a little cooking segment for our local news. Woohoo, yay, celebrate. Um, but I am going to take this to them tomorrow so they can enjoy it. All right, we are good to go. Oh, baby, does it smell tasty. Now you can add a little salt and pepper if you want to. As you know, if you've seen my cooking, I don't add salt and pepper. Let's cook it, let's taste it, then let's add it. Boom. Let's get all of this ooey gooey goodness out of here. As you know, I start from the top of the bag and I squeeze down. Then I use my bag to press it out evenly so that I don't have to get my hands dirty. Love, love, love it. Now you can wash and reuse this bag if you want to. I showed you a video the other day of how easy it is, even when your bag is this gross, how easy it is to wash and reuse it. Far less energy, far less water. All right, guys, do you see this? I'm gonna set this here. We're not done yet. Don't turn it off. We've got to top our chicken divan. So let me pop another bag in the holder. This is one that I certainly will wash and reuse because it won't take any time. Now, I need breadcrumbs, but guess what? I was almost out. And I need a lot of breadcrumbs because I like the crunch on top of here. So, I'm going to show you an alternative. Cornflakes, yeah, cornflakes. This video is kind of long, so I hope you don't fall asleep in between. Let's add about two cups. How about two cups of cornflakes? Can you hear that? Do you hear that? That's <laughs> public. Oh my goodness gracious. Then we're gonna add about a tablespoon of butter. Yes, it's not melted, it's just really soft. So it's gonna do the same thing that I need it to. Other right, so let me set that there. Now we've got these cornflakes, we've got it mixed with a little breadcrumbs. It's so, so simple. Let's take out the air because, as you know, you can crush all things in the bag holder. Now that noise is in the way, I don't know what is. But we're just going to crush them up. My hands can do the work. Look at all this. Do you, know, do you notice how skinny my fingers are? It's because they get a lot of work out. <laughs> I'm such a comedian today. <laughs> my daughter is thoroughly embarrassed. But that's all right. Fond memories of working with mom in the kitchen right here. You're looking at it. There. All right. Let's pour this on top of our chicken divan, all covered with cornflakes. There we go. For those that are my good friends, please don't unfriend me on Facebook after you watch this video. Just like me even more for my quirkiness. All right, guys. Now, look, I made chicken, whoa, I need to double pan this. I made chicken divan in less than, what, six minutes? I talk more than I cook. I'm gonna pop this in the oven at 350. Then you can see this picture on Facebook finished because I'm gonna turn the camera off and load it, but I'm gonna cook it for about 35 to 40 minutes covered and I'm good to go. This is going to be phenomenal. My house is gonna smell like the bomb. You guys have a fabulous time and tell your friends about the bag holder. See us on facebook.com slash bag holder. Thanks for joining.